large part of black people's problem is that we think the civil rights era actually fixed the racial problem in America and that the election of Barack Obama is proof of this. Meanwhile, white supremacy is shooting and hunting us down like it's rabbit season. The last three mass shootings can be laid directly at the feet of the orange disaster in the White House. How many times I gotta tell you? He is not a president. He is a motivational speaker for white supremacy. Proof of that is his rally a couple of days before the, uh, the last couple of mass shootings. He asked, what are we gonna do with these people? Somebody in the audience said, shoot them. He grinned. Okay. This is not commander in chief. This is the white supremacist in chief. Now, uh, the last three mass shootings, I got to focus on one. The one in Dayton, Ohio, committed by 24-year-old Connor Betts. Okay, the thing about Connor Betts is Connor Betts sounded all the alarms of a potential mass murderer, a potential racially motivated mass murder. I don't care what the mainstream press and authorities say. This was a racially motivated mass murder. Connor Betts killed nine people before he was killed. The first person he killed was his sister and her boyfriend. These were the first people he killed. Six of the nine people he killed were black. Three of them were white. Was his sister's boyfriend black? We don't know. Speculation, possibly. But Connor Betts did not pick the area to shoot at, to shoot in randomly. He did not take his gun to a random location and start shooting. He picked a soft target, a target where he knew he would be able to have victims and that some of those victims would be white. And the area he picked in Dayton, Ohio, is the party place, mostly for white people, but also for black people who, how can I say, are seeking interracial sexual gratification. That was the target that he picked purposely. Now, like I said, Connor Betts sounded all the alarms of a potential mass murderer were all black. Uh, he was bullied in school. But there was one alarm that he sounded that should have prevented what happened. Connor Betts, when he was in high school, made a hit list. Now, he didn't write this hit list at home and mail it out to people. He wrote this hit list on the bathroom wall in school, causing a lockdown of the school. Connor Betts was suspended from school after this lockdown. He was suspended and sent for counseling. Now, how many times have you seen black students expelled and arrested just for talking back to the teacher? Connor Betts wrote a uh, hit list on the bathroom wall that caused a school lockdown and he was just suspended and sent for counseling. Are you kidding me? Oh, his white, white privilege was intact right up until he, right up until he committed mass murder. You know, we need to recognize what our situation is. We're at war. War is being waged on us. We need to recognize. I'm Patrice Gibbs. Join me on the open eye. Saturday mornings at 11 on WHDE 95.3 FM. The open eye. More than just radio.